so today I am actually going to dye my hair and um, as you can see my roots have grown out a lot and I faded out a lot of my bluish hair um, I'll do a close-up so you can see um, yeah I'm in the bathroom again and you know dyeing shirt to dye over it the Revlon color silk natural blue black to attempt to do um, have it black all on top and fade it to the bottom about like right here and then from right here I'm just going to fade it out so it is sort of like a ombre um, and if it's not ombre enough I'm actually going to go back in and kind of bleach a little bit of the bottom clip a uh, bottom bits so that it's a little bit more ombre um, and I might that do that in a separate video. I just want to show you guys the outcome of this for now. And then I might move on to ombre in a separate video. Because I'm not going to do it all in the same day. Because I know it's very damaging. Developer, and then this is the color. And I'm going to mix it together. Um, and I'm actually going to use a bowl with this. I'm going to mix it up and then pour it in a bowl. Because um, it's easier that way. And I'm not going to use the gloves that it comes with. I'm just going to use my own gloves. I'm going to slowly put it on the top parts of my head first and um, use my brush right here that I have to just section off. I think I'm going to do my bangs first so that it's easier. I have shaken it up so hopefully it's all good and my, my gloves are blue because I dyed my hair blue last time. I just reusing gloves. a comb so that I get the color on and then I can comb it downward. I'm going to have it all the way to here. So I'm just rubbing in all the color. Hello my ninjas, so this is what my hair looks like after I have dyed it. And as you can see, it, there is a little bit more black on the bottom here. And it actually looks different in different types of lighting. Um, right now, it kind of looks more of a blue-black on camera. In person, it looks super dark kind of black. Like, it brings out my skin kind of black. Like, it makes my skin looks, look a little bit like lighter. And so, I actually really like the bottom here, how it is now. Um, you see, I have... I put the black all the way to right here and then afterward I just faded it out and I tried to stop so that it doesn't blend into the other colors that I had on the bottom because I wanted kind of like an ombre effect. So when I washed it out some of the color leaked onto the bottom so that's why the bottom sort of like a cooler tint instead of warm. Underneath I still have these sort of brownish tips. Like right here, I have these sh sort of brownish tips. So that's what it looks like. I'll turn for you guys. Um, the back is just the same. I'm pretty sure there's more like brownish tips in the back than there is in the front. Um, I might do a separate video where I ombre it a little more. I just bleach the bottom and... Um, tone it down. Um, I might have a separate video on that. If not, I am actually going to leave my hair for this, um, like this for a while and see how it goes um, after a few washes and of course I'll be making videos so um, I'll check up on you guys and show you guys how uh, my hair looks um, after a few washes and then I'll consider if I want to do ombre or maybe leave it like this because I really like this color also since it's really dark and on the top and it sort of fades towards the bottom to this like lighter grayish blue color so and I just did my makeup so yeah that's how it looks um as you can tell I have recently cut my bangs if you want to know how to cut my bangs or how to cut your bangs straight across like this I actually have um, a video on that it's actually a pretty old video but I will try and remember to link it down below and I'll let you guys see that video so that's it for my hair um, leave any questions down below it was very easy to get this color 
The only trouble I had was when I put the dye on and not having it touch the bottom portion. That's kind of like the hard part. But what I do is after I hit about here, I just grab all the hair and I push all the dye back until I reach the point I want. So I just go like this with my hair and I push it all the way back until where I want it uh, faded out so that all the dye gets all on here except it does not get on my tips and the bottom portions of my hair so that's what I tried to do um, if you have any questions about how to get this hair and whatnot you can ask down below the color I use is Revlon Color Silk um, I don't know what number it is but it's in natural blue black I believe yeah, it's in the color natural blue-black, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always um, ask it down below, and talk to you guys next time. Bye!